Good morning, YouTube. Lightbringer here, and today we are discussing Final Fantasy XV's new hunt from the 14th to the 21st of March. The Super Behemoth, Dread Behemoth, the Dread Behemoth. Um, first off, I was trying to decide on food. I couldn't decide if I wanted a food that would up my attack power versus guys that were way higher level than me. Or maybe food that makes you immune to ice magic, because that's apparently the Dread Behemoth's like 90% of his damage kind of thing. Um, for those of you who watched last week's video, I did hint that I might be doing a Borderlands video this week. But I forgot just how long that game is, yeah, and I, I don't know. plan to do videos on the core story of the game, because... That game's free right now, so everybody has access to it if you play 360 or Xbox One. I do not know the prices for Sony's everything else. And Nintendo, you know, doesn't good get mm -hmm. good games. Right behind you. I mean, they've currently shooters. Um, I know they did Breath of the Wild. And I am kind of excited after seeing play of that, so if I have to spare cash around Christmas time, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Um, other than that, my equipment is actually pretty basic this time. The guy is level 140, but Act unlike the Adamantois or the giant... Not Can't Nagelfear, forget the skewers we had in the stall. The Nagelfar uh, monster, yes. beastie, we must return for more. bug, lizard, what? dragon I thing think you were in like 120. Food. This guy doesn't hit nearly as hard. Um, really? like, Dead. as you can see, he's just kind of out in the wild, and he's preying oh, upon the two horns. The odds are wow. against us. Wow, it's not gonna stop looking, us. guys. Come on, like, come on. Um, for the most part, I think right now, I am rocking just using the, um, <laughs> the Balmung. Wow. Um, the Balmung is the most powerful sword you have. We did recently get the Ragnarok, which looks sweet. But at 150 power, and its buff is, it does insane damage when you warp strike it. I didn't really plan on using the warp strikes on this guy, because he's pretty big, he doesn't move around a whole heck of a lot, so I'm like, okay, let me do a bunch of air dancing, let me do maybe his little cross blades, and I do try both of those eventually, but as you'll see later in the video, I don't like this boss. I love his design and the fact that he puts up that giant ice cloud and the fog. I mean, look at this. This is amazingly beautiful. I would love to see this guy more often, and the fact that this hunt is only for a week makes me really think that um, Sony is experimenting with bosses like this. Like, yes, he's 140, but his level doesn't really get denoted well by his age. I mean, if you'll notice... Hey, Ignis, instructions! Halfway to near the end of the video, places yeah. where I was this doing to give you an edge. start doing three, nice. and they go back to seven. Uh, it's got like six different places to uh, hit. Gladios, um, uh, that super energy beam we can throw, and we'll use it three times on tech. Hits all four legs of the behemoth and gets told invulnerable. And I'm like, didn't I just hit that leg? Like, it's almost like they want your friends to not be able to help you kill it because it has pretty much normal behemoth they Nice just for level 140. I mean, it's not you think that you're a little much close? stronger than Keep your distance. Um. Like this tells me maybe it's just the fire, but then I use Ignis's um Oh the his enchantment ability. And Ignis gives me lightning. So I'm like, okay, lightning's the thing. So first I switch to Farage, then I switch to Sunday. Behemoth 
absorbs my Faraga attack, which Jesus out of me because I just threw a fireball at it and it took like 9999 damage. But whatever. Um Air Dance. I just unlocked Air Dance after doing the ball bro. And I was like, yay, I can do air dance now. And everybody early game is like, dude, you can just dance around things and nothing hits you. Everything can you. Like, you'll notice I will be in the middle of trying to air dance this guy. Oh, they're opening. Air dance this guy. And he just, like, swipes him off. And whether he gets you or not, or if you're in, like, the middle of a warp or not, he just knocks you out of the air. And I'm like, why am I for a fight. all my air more than we bargained for. Why did I waste 333 AP? Of course, he it. Half the enemies I have fought just out in the wild are either too weak for air dance or they're tough and actually deserve to be air dance, but they have the good that just knocks you out of the sky. Because while you're in the air, it's really hard to move around. You can have a warp to dodge. You can dodge while in the middle of the air dance to be able to, like, dodge attacks. Nice work, but, like, with this guy, it's a full 180 swipe. With the Maul Badooms and the Marlboros, they've got a good, good spread on their breath attacks, so no matter how well you're warp dodging, you're getting hit with it. Unfortunately, um, this guy, I'm, I'm kind of happy I didn't use the, um, for damage. Um, the, you see it at the beginning, I know I have to now the screen I'm looking at while I'm recording this is about the size of three of the Avengers. So I can generally where I am in the fight, but I'm not being able to make out text or anything like that. Um, pretty much the lasagna gives you 100% huge to XP and immunity to which makes this fight really trivial. Like, if I hadn't done I thought this fight would have been just a score. And I don't like that because you see footage of other guys doing this fight, and the ice attack pretty much wipes out your whole party within a few seconds. Any last words? And it just makes you waste your items. Yeah. Like some of these clips where I'm breaking up items, you will see that I have like 90 of everything. Half of those I bought, the other half got dropped off. And as long as you're moving around and dodging, Noctis is usually relatively cheap. <laughs> Meanwhile, in this fight particularly, he hasn't really no. gone after the rest of my party members, which kind of makes me sad. Like, they just keep beating on him, and you keep seeing, like, the yellow crit numbers, and then all these purple numbers. Like, I don't think this guy's not I think the reason he such a long fight, this fight took me roughly 15 and 20 minutes, and that's why some of you are still in the film. It's because I was in the menu for like a good day or two, it's the same thing I always use. Eventually I go to Ragnarok just to make the fight go faster. Because his hitboxes are all over the place, like I will have this little cross and I'll be attacking a leg, and then I'll be swinging and not charging any damage from the square. And then someone else will just do the same like I'm doing it. They'll be either do damage or be told invulnerable. And I'm like, what are you invulnerable to? Um, you can tell at the start of the fight, it doesn't touch any of the bombs, which I really wish it would do that. Or at least tell me that it's resistant to all the weapons. Like, don't give me the feature oh, to be able to opening. look up stats on the monster and not let me look up the stats on the monster if I can hear them. Like, if, if nothing else, show me questions that I can fill in. Like, for this guy, you don't need to get the option. Uh, for, for the weight, like most bosses, it just kills you. Do it. A circle with a line through it, kind of like the carbuncle thing. I was playing this on the Genius Carbuncle was one of those special games that would work here. And it's not. Which is fine. I've only had to use Carbuncle once, and that was that giant freaking 
robot. And when you look at when you're doing a lot of threes and fours and his health is still dropping gradually over 20 minutes, it's not that he's got a lot of health. He's just freaking immune to everything. Or super highly resistant. And I wish that wasn't how they made these guys cover. I mean, I get the animation that it has to be But he was big, he was supposed to fight, you do him in like half an hour. But you're everywhere, the whole ground is suffering from the attack. It's amazing and wonderful. But then this guy is just a behemoth that makes the whole area cover his height every 20 or 30 seconds. Um, if you patent your food lasagna or you don't want to use ice resist food, there's always Celestriad, there's two or three other, um, Items like the ice crest that will give you anywhere a total of And at that point, this fight would again be I mean, you can see they've all got the damage over time on them, but they're taking no damage. So even if you had 90% ice resist, you're constantly taking damage. Now, if it's a 90% resistance to actually being given a dot, that would be great. But this is a lot of those things that I hadn't really noticed. Like, I'm immune to ice, how am I still taking the dot? Does that mean that the second my food runs out, or I had unequipped one item that was pushing me to that 100% resistance, all of a sudden I'm going to just start taking damage and damage over time? Oh, hi there, open it. That's, 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 um, I am using a lot of my normal tactics for a ball. I pretty much just wail on it. If it looks like it's about to get always hit on me, jump away. Got it. Um, but for the most part, this ball seems easy. I mean, again, I'm level 99 or 100. Oh, I just have to. No, I'm level 99. And this guy's 41 levels over me. And I'm not doing it. Um, instead, he's just resistant to every kind of damage I do that is a critical damage. And I think that's dumb. Like, we could have made him a 120, and he would have been cool. And another thing. You up nice the level of health. And you need so much resistance. Like, the level of sex so freaking ridiculous. Just to go from 99 to 100 is like 1.1 XP. This fight gives you 30,000. The guy is almost... Like, he's pushing 50 levels above you. 50 levels. You're telling me I'm getting... 1... What? 30th? Of a level from fighting a boss that's my level plus. I mean, I know he's not 50, but 40 levels. If anything else in this game has been that many levels, you might be dead. Like, they were looking at wrong. Some of the normal enemies on this game that are like 10 levels above you can one shot your entire party. And I know this guy can, nice work, Gladio. but the game lets yep. you see him coming. Like, you could go in here and get party wiped in five seconds and just restart the game. Go to the nearest way, waypoint or camp spot. You took yourself to my position. You down on him like I am. Like, you did. This scene is up in the air. I'm warping him. I feel like there should have been like an Aranea scene of you fighting it. Just there. You're in the middle of the air. It's got four paws. And it's trying to beat at you. And you're just like, give me a little cutscene with the armature. Um, 
I did break his hoof somewhere in here and just got like a mega potion switch. Mega potions I think are one of the worst items in this game. Because between passive healing and some of the other things you can do, potions are pretty much worthless unless you need to heal after Alright. Woo! Mega potions are just really, really expensive ways to save a couple of potions. And I'm like, why? When all of my people are weak like this, I just pop one or two of them and the whole party is relatively cool. Um, I am loving that they're giving us Oracle at the at the end of this fight. Yeah, that's really useful. I can go and get more ribbons so that my whole party isn't getting all these dots left and right. But, um, otherwise, I'm really disappointed in the rewards for this. 30,000 XP is really sad. When I okay. look at the end of this fight, and even with all my boosts, I got like 60 or 80k. I'm like, whoop, 80k. Well, that's that's all the time I have, guys. Thank you for listening. Lights out. Thanks, guys. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and help me out on Patreon if you are so inclined. See you next time.